five games, five whole fucking games, and this goddamn knife is still the most powerful fucking weapon in this entire game. So fuck you, Infinity Ward. Oh, and fuck you too, Track, just because you dick ride more than Richard Simmons at a Sibian convention. <laughs> oh man, let's see how many people understood that joke. Anyways, knifing. Still the most annoying shit in this game. While most people will point to Modern Warfare 2 as the biggest knifing problem, which there is. There's no denying that shit. Each of the past five Call of Duty games have had their own bullshit. Now, Call of Duty 4 has the commando lunge as well. If you go back and play that shit, you're gonna see. It does have the motherfucker. It's not as bad as Modern Warfare 2, but you clearly do get knifed from five to eight feet away. World at War's knife, I don't even think works. Unless the MP40 counts as a knife kill. <laughs> I mean, they must have given you some World War II era sharpened knife like a fucking spoon or some shit. Modern Warfare 2, of course, has Commando. It's the worst perk of all time to ever been in a Call of Duty game. Hands down, the worst shit. However, once the perk was off, the lunging was minimal. It wasn't, it, it was there. But it wasn't as bad as some of the other games when it was off. I mean, there were some instances where you still get that five to eight foot lunge, but there was nothing like having fucking cunt mando or whatever you want to call that stupid shit equipped. And crap house was obviously so fucking laggy that you could get knifed from 10 feet away only to find out like three seconds later you were dead and shit. <laughs> Which brings us to this bullshit. Five fucking games later, and the knife is still broken in a motherfucker. And it's not just the lunging shit, man. We know it's not just the lunging, but it's the panic knifing epidemic and the whole animation of the knife thing and shit like that. Now, I could sit here, bitch, and curse about this shit for the next 10 minutes, or I could offer Infinity Ward and Treyarch some ideas, which we know they'll ignore, on how to fix this shit. So I might as well rant about the shit that they'll totally fucking ignore. <laughs> Fuck, man, if I could staple this fucking video to Robert Bowling or Josh Owen's head with a throwing knife, I would in this motherfucker. So if anyone feels like sending them a Twitter or a tweet or whatever that stupid shit is, feel free to send this to them. Maybe they'll actually listen and fix the motherfucker in the future. But anyway, besides the obvious of reducing the distance of the nice lunges, there's some other shit that needs to be fixed. First of all, the panic knifing. You know the saying, never bring a knife to a gunfight? Well, the motherfucker never actually played Call of Duty, man, because if he knew that shit, he would tell you bring a knife to every fucking gunfight. Because in this game, it always beats a gun up close every single time. Panic knifing always wins. Anytime you get in a close quarters confrontation, some fuckstick always has to press in the thumb control and voila, easy kill. So my first order of business to fix the knifing, change the fucking controls. That's right, I said it. They need to make the default controls tactical. And never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, give someone the option to switch knifing to the thumbstick. I'm telling you right now, that right there will control a lot of the problems they already have in this fucking game. Because, I mean, let's face it, I know people are going to bitch. I know people are going to say, no, I use knife. You know what? Fuck that, man. Tough titty. I don't give a fuck what movie you've seen. I don't give a fuck what comic book you read. But if you get shot twice in the chest, no knife cut to the arm or the leg is going to kill a motherfucker. I'm telling you right now, it is not going to happen. And I don't give a fuck if this is the video game. This shit is not fucking happening anytime soon. So taking away that option for people to panic knife is my first demand. Move the melee button. Make it a button that you would have to consciously press in order to knife someone. I don't want to be killed by some kid who shits himself and then presses in the thumbstick out of fucking panic. Fuck that bullshit, man. I'm telling you right now, change that shit. Change it to something absolutely, completely crazy that'll get people away from just pressing in that goddamn thumb and that'll fix a lot of this fucking knifing problem. Now, that leads me to my next point. How the fuck can you knife someone holding a gun? Think about this shit for a second. For five years now, the knifing animation has been the same. The character holds the gun barrel with his left hand, has his right hand on the trigger, but magically grows a third fucking hand to swing a knife. How the fuck is that possible? Explain that shit to me. I mean, does the motherfucker have, like, Edward Scissorhand hands and shit like that? He cut you with his fingers? Get the fuck out of here, man. The only time the knife is legitimately out is when you have the tactical knife with a pistol. That's it. People should not grow a third fucking hand to panic knife someone. Which leads me into my next two fixes that need to be added to Call of Duty. Not suggested, but needed to be added. Now, the cool thing is, both of these ideas can both be implemented. They can either do them together or they can do them individually. But, I'm telling you right now that both fixes are needed to fix the shit. First of all, Knife melees would be eliminated almost altogether, with the exception of the tactical knife on a pistol. We would replace that shit with a gun butt. You know, where you actually have to knock a motherfucker out with the butt of your gun. And the only way to kill someone is you have to hit him twice. 
No way around that shit. No more one kill melee. You now have to hit them twice, pistol whip them. I don't give a shit. No more of this phantom knifing bullshit. You need to bash their fucking skull in with your goddamn weapon. And yes, I know older games used to do it this way. And I'm sure that people are going to say, it's advanced past that. No, fuck that, man. We're playing a first person shooter. We're not playing a first person knifer. You want to knife someone? Guess what? Go play Assassin's Creed and kill a motherfucker with a samurai sword or whatever the motherfuck they have in that shit. Here, we shoot people. And I get bitches out of my way. I want to be able to shoot the motherfucker. I don't want to have to worry about sitting there with a goddamn knife and getting stabbed in my fucking arm and dying. So at least if you put the gun butt and you have to kill a person twice, that eliminates the crazy fucking melee up close close quarter combat. Now, even in a panic mode, let's just say somebody actually hits you with that gun, they still have to do it again. They still have to actually be able to knock you one more time. So I'll tell you right now, the gun butt thing with a two hit kill is gonna fix a lot of the panic knifing. Not a little bit, it's gonna fix a lot of the bullshit in this motherfucker. Now, the second idea that I have, it's gonna take a bit of programming from these jackasses. So I can't imagine with Treyarch getting this shit right. <laughs> but I want a grab and stab feature. And it's exactly how it sounds. Grab a motherfucker, stab a motherfucker. Now, I know there are other games out there, I think Killzone and Battlefield specifically, they have a grab and stab animation, but they don't have it as an actual button. Basically, you just have to melee a person once and then it happens. I want it as a button layout too, and here's how it works. I want to take a completely useless button. Similar to how I mentioned, change the buttons for the fucking panic knife into something else, whether it's the default tactic, whether it's putting it on the D-pad, I don't care. This makes you grab someone, and right after you do it, you have to time another button. I'm not talking spam the shit, I'm talking timing. So you press one button, and then you have to press another button with timing to stab somebody. That's the grab and stab feature. Now, if you don't time it right, what ends up happening is you break the hold. And the hold is broken cleanly. So each person actually has a chance to either shoot the motherfucker or grab him again, whatever you want to do. But if the person does not time the grab and stab right, they're actually going to have to break the hold. Now, even as a potential victim, you can block the stab. In other words, you, you do a well-timed button or whatever the fuck it is, and you actually block somebody from stabbing you with the knife. And when you block it, it breaks the hold cleanly again. So, this now changes this panic knife into something that you physically need to do. No more crazy shit, no more easy fucking kills other than the tactical knife. I'm fine with the tactical knife in the game because you actually have to earn that shit and use a pistol of all things. So there is no way in hell I think that these two ideas would ever ever continue the fucking panic knifing. Now again, this is gonna take some serious fucking programming, but at the very least, it's gonna eliminate the panic knifing, and it'll, you know what? It'll create an animation that is at least somewhat realistic. Cause let's face it, man, this whole bullshit of swiping, what is it, your left hand, your right hand with a knife that's already on a fucking gun, that's realistically bullshit. <laughs> and that's what it is, it's realistic bullshit. So this is why I wanna have these two changes along with the button layout. If you get rid of those shits on the goddamn controls, if you get rid of the knife distance, you know, that lunging crap, and you add either the grab and stab or the gun butt, you're gonna finally fix this motherfucker. After five full years of pissing me the fuck off, this game will finally be fixed. So hopefully, people like my ideas, and if you do, like I said, send this shit to 402 Robert Bowling, whatever the fuck his name is. Send this over to Josh Olin, that fucking asshole that thinks that, you know, no game exists on the PlayStation. <laughs> God, that guy's a cocksucker. I'll tell you that right now. I hope he rehears this shit too. So if, please, anybody out there who agrees with this, send it to these motherfuckers. This is the only way we're going to get them to fix the goddamn knife in this game. Otherwise, you know, next year, Treyarch's going to come out with another game, and we're still going to have the panic knife. And so anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Y'all knew a commando lunge knifing rant was coming soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.